guys, welcome back to our channel. So, today is See How I Like It Saturday. And if I've uploaded this, it, hopefully it's on Saturday. I gotta stop making that joke. At some point, I will be uploading these videos on time. And if not, it doesn't matter because I'll do it till it kills me. Now, I'm only going to talk about three items in this video. Actually, four. But I do have some other things that I am still trying out. I had a lot of things that I hauled. And I just want to make sure that I'm giving everything at least a week in advance, not just a couple of days to try out. I don't want to give you guys kind of a wishy-washy review of something or just tell you something that I really didn't try just because I wasn't in the mood. Like, I really want to do my honest promise, like I said. I pledged that in the beginning, and I'm going to keep on pledging it and staying true. So without further ado, let's get to the stuff. First thing I'm going to talk about that I loved, 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 I wish I was wearing it right now, but I'm not, is my Jordana Twist and Shine Moisturizing Lip Balm. I featured this on my haul, and I love this. It's so, so beautiful. I'm doing like a big, big swab for you guys. But I love the color on this. It's so moisturizing. It's so just like... I can't even describe it. Like, it's just so buttery. Um, it just feels great. It doesn't leave a lot of residue or shine, which I like. It's easy to apply and adjust. It's very big crayon style. Like I said, if you're into the Revlon or you're looking for the big chubby sticks like at the Clinique and everything and you're just on a budget. So this is a definitely a great alternative for those. I love the staying power of it. It stayed all day. Um, it didn't dry out. It was just very moisturizing. Like it said, it's a moisturizing lip balm stain. It stains a little bit, but not too much. And I love that the crayon atmos little ditty thing here goes up and down. It's not like other ones where it only goes up and then you have to kind of put your finger back on it to push it down, which kind of messes up the product and nobody likes that. But yes, Giordana... Twist and Shine Moisturizing Lip Balm Stain. Definitely get this if you're looking for something that's lighter than lipstick, but just has a little bit of something. The next thing I'm going to talk about that I um, got in my Ipsy was the e Crew Acai. I don't know how to pronounce this, but I got this um, Protein BB Cream. Beauty Balm for Hair. It's no parabens and it's color safe. And I finally opened it and I can say that the smell is amazing. It smells like I walked into like a Veda or one of those like salons that just like because they're doing so much hair with their products it just whiffs in the air when you walk in and you're just like I want to smell like that. I want my hair to just smell like that. So this smells really wonderful. It's nice and clean. It doesn't smell fragrancy. It smells clean um, with a hint of spa, if that makes any sense. But um, it's very silky. It dissolves very quickly. It kind of feels like just a tad bit thicker than water. Um, I can't think of a consistency comparison. <laughs> Tongue tied today. But I definitely... Love how it smells. I love how it feels. I put a little bit on the ends of my hair just to um, see how it works. And man, can I just say, like, talk about hydration. Like, my hair was just so movable and beautiful. Like, I, I just, I don't even know what to say. I don't know where you can get this. I got it featured in my Ipsy. You can definitely go on Ipsy.com. If you're not a part of Ipsy.com, I'm not sure if you can use the coupon codes that they have, but then again, I'm sure you can. And if you can't, try it anyway. But this product line is from the October bag, so you can definitely try to type it in and see or just type in. It's spelled E-C-R-U, E-Crew New York, Cosmetic Hair Care. Um, but I definitely give this a thumbs up. I really, really like it. I know I've only used it like a little bit so far, but I'm really loving what it's doing to the hair, and I really think that it's doing something nice. So if you want to try it, you try it. But I definitely liked it. So the next thing I'm going to talk about, which I was kind of like, hmm, is the Epice Exfoliant. Yeah. It's okay. It's nice. As far as an exfoliant, it smells very, very clean. Again, the two items that I have. 
it smells just yeah like clean lotion it smells like eucerin lotion if you're familiar with what eucerin smells like eucerin has this like certain smell that like when i have it on or when someone has it on i know that it's that so that's what this smells like but also i didn't find anything fantabulous about it my skin didn't feel super you know refined it didn't feel super you know mattified I didn't see any difference when I wore my makeup the next day. Um, I just didn't see any like huge extra like wow with this. The thing I can say about it is that the granulars that it has is very, very nice and soft and it's not too harsh. If you're the kind of person where you're using your exfoliant and you're rubbing like, oh, I need to feel it, first off, stop that. That's called irritation and inflammation. You are going to rub yourself to a breakout, so stop doing that. But also, the granulars in this are very, very fine, that if you're sensitive skinned, you can probably use it, but only in a small, very, very small amount. Like, I like that when I was rubbing it, I didn't feel something scraping my skin. I don't like that feeling, which is why I'm partial to try the Biore um, Charcoal Cleaner. If you want me to try that, definitely let me know, and maybe I'll do a video or a first impressions, whatever, or a review and see how I like it on Saturday. Try it for a week and we'll see. But I don't like feeling like I have something on my skin. I don't feel like, um, I don't like the feeling of after it's washed off, like it's either burning or stinging or it feels raw. I just don't like that feeling. An exfoliant is just supposed to remove dead skin and after like I pat it dry, it just should feel like, oh my goodness, thank God. Like if you're flaky, when you remove your exfoliant, you should not see flakiness. You shouldn't be super red. And if you're super red, then that's definitely not the exfoliant for you. Either that or you might be rubbing way too hard. You shouldn't be doing a lot of that because that's just friction. And that's the word I wanted to use. Um, friction. It's a lot of friction on the skin. And sometimes people just can't take that. So I would recommend this as a great exfoliator to use partially if you want to swap in between one that you have. Maybe if you have one that's a little bit more coarse for when you are breaking out or it's just something that you like. This would be great in between. So I'd say use your, let's say Biore. Use your Biore. The next week, use this. Kind of lighter, a little gentler on the skin. Use your Biore. Use this. It's a great alternative, but nothing super, super fancy. Sorry. And last thing that I have to talk about that I definitely wanted you guys to love, and I'm so, so sorry that you're not going to love it. Why? Well, I didn't like it, but here's the reason why I didn't like it. I talked about the um, little super duper trio kit that I got. It was this huge, you know, um, like little little kit of shower gels, um, body sprays, and body lotions with two loofahs. I got it from Family Dollar. Now I know what you're saying. It's Family Dollar. You kind of deserve that. True, but sometimes those places can surprise you, and I feel like what I should have done was spent the more money on the fuller priced items, meaning the bigger option, rather than these rinky-dink small ones, because I feel like what they did was they used a lot to concentrate the smell, and therefore it doesn't stick or it doesn't stay. Now, what my friend also said to me that it could be my skin type, um, meaning that Maybe when you put a certain smell, like sometimes if you put a certain fragrance on you, it just doesn't adhere, or sometimes it just doesn't smell right on you, but on somebody else it smells great. So that could also be the situation, but I was very, very disappointed with these, um, and I brought up the two scents that I have that I was looking so forward to, the Japanese Cherry Blossom and the Lavender Fields. Now, I wanted to use this because I love Japanese Cherry Blossom. I believe Bath and Body Works has a Japanese Japanese cherry blossom um, fragrance and shower gel set that is just amazing like I don't even want to talk about it and yes I wanted an alternative in between that when I can't go there and get a sale or nothing's happening to save me some dollars so I thought that this would be great I thought that this would be you know something that I would love I can put these in my purse and have my little set to go and I can't smell a thing I can smell it in the bottle I can smell it like this but the second that I go to do something, nothing. 
I smell it in the whiff of the air for like two seconds, and then I'm like, wait, where'd it, where'd it go? Not on me. Not on me. And then the sad part that really just like made me irritated was the lavender fields. Now, the lavender fields, um, one, the shower gel doesn't last at all in the shower. What I had to do was put the shower gel with another, like, um, dial shower gel that I use. I can kind of smell it when those two components rub together, but so far I can't smell it on its own, which really made me sad. And then this lavender body lotion smells medicated. It smells super, super medicated. It doesn't even smell like lavender. It smells like what lavender should smell like, but it smells super medicated. And I wasn't happy with that. And then I was very just reluctant to try the body spray and ended up loving how it smells. But again, nothing. And it's also a completely different smell. This smells like cotton lavender like lavender fields. I know that that's what it says, but this actually smells, the, out of all three items, this is the only one that really smells like what it's supposed to smell like. And I tried even using the shower gel, using some of the lotion, and putting this on my body, and I probably got five minutes worth of smell. Now, granted, you know, when you're going to sleep anyway, you should want something that's calming and soothing, so it shouldn't be a big deal, but I'm the kind of person where, you know, I do like to um, have that feeling of just comfort, and when I smell my hands, I can just smell the lavender, and I just want to whiff to sleep, and it kind of was a little bit disheartening that it didn't last as long. Like, it literally didn't last as long. My shower lasted longer than the scent, and that's just the truth. So... Unfortunately, I had to give it. I don't recommend you guys getting that unless you're getting it for a gift and, you know, your person maybe just isn't that huge into smell. Maybe they're type sensitive or maybe if they're, you know, not a huge perfume person, then yeah, that'd be great. It'd be something really quick that they can use and would just be something that maybe they can carry in their bag or, you know, just have on the go. But for the most part, I definitely wouldn't say spend the five bucks. I'd say go the other way and get the um, the fuller sets because I feel like they would have just more concentration. And what I'll definitely do is look into that for you as well because I feel like I was bamboozled. And unfortunately, I already started using one of the other scents and I tried using this. So there's no sense in trying to take it back. But I definitely wish I would have just tried one before I went ahead and just completely opened it because then I probably would have been able to maybe have gotten my money back. But it's definitely a great gift item if you're looking for gifts. I just wouldn't recommend it for yourself or anyone else. So maybe don't get it. I don't know. So these are my opinions. Definitely might not be the same as yours, which makes this a free loving community because you can always comment down below and tell me what you think about them. If you've tried any of these items yourself or if you just had a feeling like, girl, I knew on that haul that that just wasn't going to work, definitely let me know because that way I will save us both some time and both some free loving money. Could use that $5 on a really great lipstick. Hmm, should have did that instead. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always look forward to seeing you, and I hope you look forward to seeing me, and I'll see you again on Saturday. Bye! And again, these are my opinions on these things. If you find that your opinion is different, definitely comment down below and tell me how you feel about them, and we can definitely talk about it. No, we won't. And it's a white kind of cream. I don't want to get too much on me to be honest. Is a great, um, at, bleh, this is definitely a great kind of, not replacement, but I guess to say, a, I can't think of the word right now. I'm so, so badly brain farting. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm running on, like, zero zero energy and I just flew in and decided like hey I'm in the mood I'm gonna do my videos so I'm so so sorry if I like space out just a little bit <laughs> but I